Yes, sir. Okay. Now we are going to start paper one two of May June twenty twenty two. Okay. Let's start with question number one. A student investigates the rate of a reaction between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Okay. So, if you remember this reaction, whenever the hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate reacts, we will be going to get calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide gas, and due to that carbon dioxide gas, the bubbles and the effervescence would observe. The volume of gas in the syringe is recorded after one minute. Okay. The experiment is repeated using different concentrations of hydrochloric acid with additional piece of apparatus used for essential for this investigation. So, yes, what else we need? Do we need balance? We are changing the concentration, so no balance is needed. No. Do we need a measuring cylinder? No, because no. Yeah, but we need a stop clock. Stop watch. Yes. So, and the given options are one and two only, one and two only, two and three only. Okay, so. That is the important thing over here. See, A, B, and D are completely wrong because balance is not needed. Yes. No. One minute. If you think balance is, I think balance is also needed because we are using the calcium carbonate and we are investigating the rate. So we need a equal mass of the calcium carbonate every time. So to uh, to weigh the mass of calcium carbonate, we must know the balance as well. We we must have the balance to weigh the mass of calcium carbonate, right? So one minute. We have to rethink over the question, over the option. So balance is needed every time. Okay. Measuring cylinder is also needed every time. Why? Because we are actually uh, uh, following the same volume of hydrochloric acid, whatever the concentration would be. But we need the same volume of hydrochloric acid to be to be added. So measuring cylinder is also needed, and the stop clock is needed for record to record at that time because it's a rate of reaction. So. A, B, and C goes wrong, and D is your correct answer. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, Rayyan, yes, Abdullah, Fahad. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, question number 22. Which is which statement is correct? A mixture of liquids with a boiling point which differ by 35 degrees Celsius can be separated by distillation. Yes, this. Yes, it can be correct because they have a different boiling point, so we can separate them with the distillation. But let's figure out the next, the other options. Locating agents are needed to identify the color present in ink. No, it is used for no. other substances. The desalination of seawater to produce pure water is achieved by? No. No. The RS value of a dye in chromatogram can be calculated by distance moved by solvent. Completely wrong. That must be in denominator, not numerator. So, A is your correct answer for question number two. Is this understandable to everyone? Yes, sir. No. Question number three. 
some reactions of aqueous solution of an aqueous solution compound of compound X are given. Okay, when few drops of aqueous sodium hydroxide are added, a white precipitate is formed. Okay, on adding few drops, white precipitate is formed. So it means it can be calcium ion or aluminium ions or zinc ions. When dilute nitric acid is added, the mixture is warm and the gas is formed. Okay. The gas decolorizes acidified potassium magnesium. So what will be the gas? The gas would be SO2. That is the test for a sulfur dioxide gas. Yes, SO2. When dilute nitric acid and aqueous barium nitrate are added, no visible reaction occurs. Okay. So sulfide gas is forming, which is indicating that the substance contains sul sulfur dioxide gas is forming sulfide ion SO3 to negative. Okay. Yes. Sir. So here's the sulfate A goes wrong. Okay. Now, as we have discussed that it can be calcium, aluminium, and zinc, and here the calcium is on the yes, and here. If you see just aluminum and zinc are given, so C goes wrong as well. So it means your correct answer mm -hmm. because it contains all the three yeah. categories aluminum, calcium, and zinc. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, question number four Which set of changes to the condition? increases the volume of a gas okay so for a pressure we have to decrease the pressure not increase the pressure so b and c goes wrong and increasing temperature as we see further unchanged pressure so we don't have to take the temperature we just got it from the pressure that our three options goes wrong so it means that a is the correct answer Yes. Okay, sir. Now, question number five. Ethyl amine gas C2H5 and H2 and hydrogen gas HCl liquid react together to form a white solid ethyl amine hydrochloride. At which position in the tube would a ring of solid white ethyl amine hydrochloride would form? So HCl is there and ethyl amine is here. Yes. So the MR of HCl would be 36.5. And if you calculate the MR of C2H5 and H2, C2 makes it 24, 24 plus 1 nitrogen, 14 makes it uh, 38, and 38 plus 7 gives you 45. So it diffuses slowly because of a heavier AMR, and it diffuses fast. Right? So if you look at a B, B is a middle point, right? So yes, it means it is diffusing faster. So it would when it would it would, it would be a sir. at the same time. Uh, ethyl amine also reach at eight. It would be a, a sir. So a will be the correct answer. B, C, and D goes wrong, and A is your correct answer. Yes, good. Question number six. Element X can be represented by a symbol. Okay. Which 
which is statement about an atom of element x are correct it has it has electrons yes that is correct it has a eight protons completely wrong mm, no and if it is wrong then c you don't have to work on other because a b and d contains two right yes. so it means your correct answer is c c because two is wrong and two is present in a b and d so a b and d are cannot be the answer two isotopes of chlorine are chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 using these isotopes carbon 12 and hydrogen how many different relative molecular masses are possible for the compound with molecular formula so there we can be on uh, if we see there are three chlorines right so one is that all the three chlorines are 35 35 and 35 one <laughs> Of a different MR, the other would be all three chlorines are thirty-seven. Would give you another isotope with a different MR. One would be having thirty-five and one thirty-seven. This would give you the different MR, right? And if one thirty-five and two thirty-seven would give you a different MR. so there is no more possible it is then that if you get another uh, combination it would get you a different isotope but it could not have a different mr because there is no more than uh, this number of atomic mass combination okay so it indicates d b and a are wrong and your correct answer is c which row is correct element graphite and water water so these are not elements So C and D goes wrong. Compound sand. Sand is not a compound. Sand is an itself. So yes. your correct answer is B. Now question number nine. Which statement about ionic compound is correct? They or they are all solid at room temperature? Yes, all ionic compounds. They all conduct electricity at room temperature? No. They, it depends whether they are aqueous or a molten. Otherwise, not. And at room temperature, they are not molten. They are all soluble in water. Not some of them are insoluble. They all have a strong inter intermolecular forces that completely wrong them for an ionic compound. So, because it exists between the molecules, and ionic compound do not have. Any. So, question number nine, A is the correct answer. Now. Question number ten. A molecule of tetrafluoroxylene (SiF4) is shown in the dot and cross diagram. Only the outer shell electrons are shown. Okay. <laughs> Each molecule of SiF4 have exactly sixteen pair of electrons. No. No. Because four and four and four and yes, sixteen pair of valence shell electrons are there, but in total, obviously, fluorine have a inner subshell, inner shells, and silicon yes. shell. That is not the correct answer. In SiF4, both silicon and fluorine have the same electronic configuration as neon. No. No, yeah, because silicon is have a more shell than the uh, fluorine. Yes. Molten SiF4 will conduct electricity completely wrong. No. So you are left with that. So D is the correct answer. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, question number eleven. The table describes two properties associated with the metal. Which row shows a correct reason for the stated property? Okay. Malleable the layers, the layers of metal anions. There are no anions, so A goes wrong. Malleable yes. is the layer of metal cations slide over each other. Yes, this, this can be correct. Conduct electricity contains mobile anions. Completely wrong. No, mobile cations completely wrong. So C and D goes wrong, and B is our e. correct answer. 
Yes, Fahad, Hassan, and Rayyan, is this understandable? If anyone have any doubt, do ask, please. Yes, the uh, mobile and titans and ants are there in the mountain electrolytic state of ionic compound and some of the covalent as well, like acids. Yes, Rayyan, Fahad, Hassan. If anyone have any doubt, do ask. Answer. Aqueous silver nitrate reacts with aqueous potassium to make K2CRO4 to give a yellow precipitate. So write an ionic equation for this reaction, for this equation, for this reaction. Okay. So, one minute, please. Silver nitrate we are asking for the ionic equation so A is completely wrong A will not be the ionic equation B is also wrong sir. B is also not the ionic equation no, because these are aqueous over here and aqueous over here, so they must be eliminated. Now you are left with the C and D. So if you look at that, the CRO4 have a two negative charge, not one negative, because they have given you the formula K2CRO7, which will help you to identify the charge on CRO4 negative because there are two plus one ions. Yes. So that's how it goes wrong. It will be C. And C is our correct answer. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Now, question number 13. What is the relative formula mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate? So, anhydrous means that doesn't have any uh, water with it. So, 2 times 23, 23 plus 12 plus 3 times 16. If you add all of them, you will get 106. So, and A are wrong and C is correct. 46 and 48 and 12. 48 and 12 give you 60, 60 and uh, 46 give you 106. Okay, question number 14. What contains the greatest mass of a solute? Okay, so one mole per dm cube, 100 centimeter cube. Okay, no, sir. so 100 divided by 1000 to turn into a decimeter cube. Then multiply by one would give you the number of moles. Then multiply by its MR to give you the mass. So sodium is 23 and oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 17. So it makes you it 40. So 100 over 1000 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 into 1 gives you 0 0.1. 0 0.1 into 40 gives you 4 grams. Mm. Then 500 over 1000 into 0 0.05 times 98. 98 is the MR of the sulfuric acid. Just do this calculation and tell me. Okay. It is 1 times 0 0.1 times 39 and 140 and 16, 56. 
2.45 grams. Two for third one. Two into zero point zero one into thirty six point five. Five point six. And what about the D option? Zero point seven three. So D B wrong and C is your correct answer. Now, how many tons of aluminium oxide are required to produce twenty seven tons of aluminium? Okay. So if you look at the formula of aluminium oxide, it is Al two O three and it is going to produce two moles of aluminium. So if there are two moles of aluminium. Then it means that the mass that aluminium is being produced from one mole of mass of aluminium oxide, one mole of aluminium oxide would be two times twenty-seven. What is the MR of the aluminium oxide? Twenty-seven plus twenty-seven gives you fifty-four. Fifty-four and plus fifty-four plus forty-eight, one hundred and two. So one hundred and two grams of aluminium oxide is giving you twice of twenty-seven gram aluminium. And if we need twenty-seven tons of aluminium, so the value would be x. And if you will find the x, please. But the answer is fifty-one. The answer is fifty-one. Yes. So A, B, C, and D goes wrong. If you can calculate, we can find it's B. Yes. Is this understandable to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now question number sixteen. Dilute sulfuric acid is electrolyzed. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas are produced. If we draw correctly, describe uh, what happens. Oxygen is produced. Right? Oxygen is produced from hydroxide ion, which is an anion. Goes so, so wrong. Concentration of acid because water and hydrogen is uh, hydrogen and oxygen is given off. So the concentration of the amount of water is decreasing, which makes acid more concentrated. Yes, very yes, good. Much so concentration increases. So A goes wrong, and B is your correct answer. Hydrogen is giving off. Hydrogen gas is forming, and oxygen gas is forming. So water is being reduced. Water is the the quantity of water is becoming decreased. So there are more hydrogen and sulfuric ions, sulfate ions relatively in the water now. Which makes it more concentrated. Now, question number seventeen. Aluminium can be extracted by the electrolysis of aluminium oxide dissolved in molten chloride. Which reaction takes place during the electrolysis? So. Aluminium oxide at cath at anode there is no aluminium at anode. So the positive charge aluminium have a plus three charge. So C goes wrong as well, and D is the correct answer. Okay, so okay. Which reaction is exothermic? Remember, combustion is always exothermic. Setting of hydrocarbon. Yes, sir. So it's endothermic decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen. It all uh, so needs energy. So it is wrong, and then yes. photosynthesis in plants it also absorbs energy. So B goes wrong as well. Uh, just give me a minute, please, everyone. Okay, sir. Okay.
So, A is your correct answer in this case. B, C, and D are wrong. Yes, sir. Now, question number nineteen. What is the correct balance equation and enthalpy change for the complete combustion of butanol C4H9O8? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so if you see D and B are wrong because the values are positive because. Uh, question is always exothermic. Exothermic, yes. So we are it getting really... eight oxygen over here and five over here, right? So the total number of oxygens are thirteen. Five times two makes it. So A goes wrong. It means C is correct. Six times two makes it twelve, and one oxygen is over here. So thirteen oxygen. So C is the correct answer. And question number twenty. Uh, bromate, bromide, and hydrogen ions react according to the equation shown. Okay. Some apparatus for measuring how the rate of this reaction varies over time is suggested. There is no gas is being formed. Yes. Right. Wrong. So one is wrong. So A and B wrong. If you see these all are equals, so no need a balance. Of no balance. As only pH meter. So only we need a pH meter. So that's why this is the correct answer. Yes. This clear to everyone. If anyone have any problem, do ask. Now, question number twenty-one. Twenty-five centimeter cube of one mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid reacts with ten gram of solid to produce a gas. The solid is in excess. It means some of the solid must left behind. The graph labeled first experiment shows the volume of gas produced over time. Graph B and Q shows the volume of gas produced under different conditions. Okay. Which changes in conditions produce graph P and Q if all the other conditions are kept constant? P uses a catalyst and Q has a lower temperature. If P uses a catalyst, that can be the correct one because we are getting the great more gradient, the greater gradient. But if Q is acting at the lower temperature, the gradient would be low, but the amount produced must be the same because we are yes. not taking the amount. So A is wrong in this case. A is wrong. He uses 25 centimeter cube, more concentrated acid, and Q uses smaller piece of a solid. If the pieces of the it's also wrong. Smaller, then the reaction would be faster, which makes Q the gradient of the Q would be the greater than the first experiment. So B goes wrong as well. P uses a higher temperature. Yes, that can be a possibility, but because due to higher temperature, the rate it's also wrong. Uh, the gradient of the P uh, is a high. Q uses yes. 25 centimeter cube with more dilute acid. Yes, this can be a possible if the acid would be dilute, and they said that the rest of the things are constant. Which means we are using the yeah. same volume of a diluted acid. If we are using the same volume of the diluted acid, then then there will be lesser number of moles of acid. Yes. So there are the lesser number of moles. That's why we are getting the lesser amount of gas. So this can be the correct one. Yes, is correct. Uses smaller pieces of solid. Q uses larger pieces of solid. Again, if we are using the larger pieces, the rate would get slower, but we would be getting the same amount. But we are not getting the same amount. So D is also wrong, and our correct answer is C. Yes, is this understandable to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, if anyone have any doubt, do ask. Sir, in option C, so we are adding 25 centimeter cube of dilute acid to. Of more dilute acid to a 10 gram of solid. So if we are using more dilute acid and they have told you that other conditions are same, so it means we are using the same volume, right? Yes. 
if we have a diluted acid and we have a same volume but in diluted acid there would be lesser moles of acid right yes sir so if the moles of acid would be lesser but the other thing is that yes the moles of acid are lesser that's why the gas that is going to be produced would have a lesser volume all right sir and that's why we are getting the lesser gas for q did you get this if we justify q uh, statement for q in b and d as they are saying that we are using the smaller and the larger piece of solid so it means that the mass of the solid would be the same and if the mass of the solid would be the same then the gas would be would be the same the gas produced would be the same as first experiment right yes sir do you understand yes sir okay if anybody else have any query fahad hasan rayyan do ask please no sir okay now question number 22 nitrogen dioxide no2 is a dark brown gas that decomposes as shown in the equation mm -hmm. the diagram shows a glass flask containing a mixture of the three gases the mixture is a pale brown more Good. oxygen is forced into the flask so if we would forcing more oxygen into the flask from this output where the equilibrium position shifts equilibrium would shift towards left left right and if yes. equilibrium would shift left so we will get more no2 and if there are more no2 the solution becomes darker brown darker brown because more no2 would form and no2 have a yes. dark brown so the solution becomes more darker darker brown so b c d goes wrong and a is the correct answer now question number 23 what is an observation of an oxidation process what is an observation of Blue copper sulfate crystals turning into white powder when heated. No, no, it is the no. loss of water is taking place. Copper being deposited on the cathode during the electrolysis, so it is deposited no. from copper ions to gaining electrons to copper, which is reduction. Yes. Green gas being produced at anode when the sodium chloride is electrolyzed. So, yes, sir. Yes. And it's a chloride ion which turns into chlorine. so it's an oxidation yes sir white powder is forming when aqueous silver ions and chloride ions no no it's not redox even it's neither reduction as well so d goes wrong and c is your correct answer an excess of aqueous iodide ions is added to acidified potassium magnate which draw is correct if you recall it is a reducing agent and it is a oxidizing agent so it's a reducing agent so it undergo oxidation so it means c and d goes wrong and potassium magnate is an oxidizing agent so obviously its color changes from purple to colorless so the final color yes. of the solution would be colorless so a is your correct answer in this case yes is this clear to everyone yes yes sir Yes. Okay. Question number twenty-five. When ammonia gas is dissolved in water, a reversible reaction takes place. Which statements are correct? Ammonia is an alkali because it produces hydroxide ions in the solution. Is it yes. correct? Yes. Yes. The pH of the solution is seven. No. no so two goes wrong and if two goes wrong then it uh, a and b are eliminated adding hydroxide ion to the mixture the at equilibrium produces more ammonia yes sir 
Yes, because we are adding hydroxide ions, the concentration of hydroxide ions is, is increases, so the equilibrium shift towards left. So one and three is correct. C goes wrong, and D is our correct answer. Okay, so uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Okay, so we I am just leaving the class till here, and tomorrow okay. shall be having the session as well. Again, okay. At the same okay. time, or just uh, Maghrib prayers, we will be starting at five to ten minutes later. But we will be starting okay. between seven thirty to seven forty. Okay. Okay, sir. Chale. Okay, take care, everyone. See you. Okay, sir. Allah Allah Allah